What's good, beautiful people? Back again with another video. Uh, take the time out to like the video, please. Let's jump straight into it. So in this video, I want to talk about the power and no contact, right? You decide to cut the narcissist off, lose all contact. You decide you want your power back. You want to change your life. You want to do something different. You've had enough of the abuse. So no contact. And you don't do this for revenge, right? You don't do this for the same reason the narcissist does it. You do it to take your power back, to regain your peace, to be able to find your true self again, get rid of all the fog. You've just had enough, right? The decision to go no contact is giving you yourself and basically getting yourself back to normal. And it's usually not done at an emotional level. It is a well thought out plan that takes a certain amount of implementation to get it going, right? I mean, in the first place, it, you know, it serves to give you your life back so you can get rid of all the narc emotion and the BS behavior that sapped your energy and invaded your thoughts. After going no contact, you will start to feel more free and less confused, better able to get on with your life and on your own terms. And that could be quite powerful after having nearly been wiped off the face of the earth by the narc abuse, which usually strips you of so much of yourself. I mean, so making a decision to go no contact is you saying I'm in charge of me. And really, you don't deserve to say or do anything else. Leave the narc and all the blind monkeys behind in the desk where you found them. And when you go no contact, this is something that I basically experienced, right? You just got to go blackout. It may not be easy in the beginning, but it gets easier along the way once you implement no contact, right? You have to change your Google account, block them on all social media, block all the people who still contact the narcissist. Also change your phone number. And one thing that I did, I moved cities. I moved. I didn't leave the state, but I moved cities, which was a, a, a very big, you know, it was a big plus for me. And most people can't just get up and move, but if you can't, that's a very good thing too, because they'll show up. They will. They will come back. They will show up. They don't care. They. You can have a whole other relationship going on. That all that will be avoided. They will totally avoid all of that. They will just show up, right? But you change your number, right? And any phone calls that you don't know that calls, you don't answer if you don't change your number. You just don't pick up. You know, voicemails you don't answer. Text messages you don't answer if you can't change your phone number. You know things of that nature. That's what I had to do. That's basically what I had to do. And it's been two years and I really believe that these things actually work. <laughs> Listen, you really have to do these types of things because these individuals will go the distance to be a part of your life, to grab you back into the abuse cycle, to keep it going. They'll pretend that they change, they'll come back, suck you back in you know once you leave these people you have to go no contact there's nothing to talk about the past has nothing new to say they're still the same they don't change they just um, it, listen this these people are the absolute worst it doesn't go away and if they manage to suck you back in it's gonna be worse it's gonna be so much worse i've been there i've been there and going back taught me a very, very big lesson, a very big lesson. And you really have to black out all social media. You really have to black out. You have to close all cracks, all crevices. Make sure they can't reach you. There's nothing to talk about, nothing to talk about. And breaking no contact with, with a narcissist is very dangerous. They're going to try to manipulate you into a false sense of security until they sense that they've regained power and control over you, right? Once this happens, they'll resume their abusive pursuit of validation, admiration, and reassurance over you. You're going to be subjected to the same abuse patterns that you experienced prior to going no contact. They will come back like they did absolutely nothing wrong to you. And they won't want you to bring it up either. 
there's just no winning with these individuals at all. So, if you go no contact, stay no contact. There's nothing to talk about. Nothing to talk about. They have nothing to say. Nothing to say. It's just, they will try to get back in the best way that they can. And if you allow this, you are going to regret it. You are definitely going to regret it. They have nothing new to say to you. Nothing. They're already stalking your social media. They already pretty much know, you know, different ways they can get in. They'll pop up if they know where you live. If they still have your phone number, they will make every attempt to contact you. They could be with a whole new supply and still reaching out to you. It doesn't really matter to them. <sighs> These parasites don't go away, y'all. They don't. It's disgusting. They don't go away. And they will come back with the exact same behavior, even worse. So if you go no contact, you stay no contact. You don't put yourself back in this situation. You don't fall for it. You don't fall for the manipulation. You, you do your best. Like for some of you who have children, I mean, yeah, that's a big one. But you minimize as much contact as possible if you have children with them. You minimize it as much as possible. Listen, they will, if they don't have children with you, they will try to manipulate the children that you have that you met them with. This, this, They don't have any boundaries. They do not care. Kids are a pawn in the game to them. They don't care. So, if you go no contact, you stay no contact. You black out as much as you can on social media. Don't watch their social media. It's all a lie. Stay off of Channel 66. They're still lying. They know you're watching. They know what they did. They know how you're feeling. This is a pattern. They have a path of destruction behind them. And this is something you don't do. Once you go no contact, you don't break no contact. Because they are on a trip to get you back. This is revenge for them. For them to come back, they want to completely obliterate you this time. They want to destroy you completely. Going back is the worst thing you can do. Going back is the worst thing you can do. So yeah, I just wanted to come through with a quick little video for you guys to let you know there is a lot of power and no contact. It stops a lot. You can regain control of your own life, make your own decisions, part away from all this narcissistic fog, all the narcissistic residue they left behind and breaking no contact can literally break you. This is what will eventually happen. So, yeah. Thanks guys for listening. And with that being said, if you like the video, take the time out to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys.